Okay, it's Henry again, and today I have a very special unboxing video. This is the Perfect Grade Unicorn Gundam. And this kit was released by Bandai in 2014. Nice gold foil Unicorn Gundam Vist Foundation logo on the front there. That good premium look to it. So, like most perfect grades, one side of the box simply has the uh, name of the mobile suit and some sort of small logo, in this case, the Vist Foundation. Alright, rotate this around. I have to actually back up a bit because the box is so large. On the side, we got a shot of the Unicorn Gundam in Unicorn mode, as well as a few accessories and things down here. Uh, and there is the price down there in the corner, 20,000 Japanese yen, so about $200. Not the most expensive perfect grade, despite how big the Unicorn Gundam is. And on the other side of the box, we get a nice uh, metallic foil image of the Unicorn Gundam. Just a bust shot from the uh, shoulders up, all of it in nice metallic reflective foil. You can see the uh, V-fin on the psycho frame parts. Nice and shiny there. Let's see. This side of the box very similar to the other one, only this time the uh, unicorn is in unicorn mode. Some more uh, pictures down there. The new uh, what's it called? Un uh, yeah, Destroy Mode Unchained. It's exclusive to the perfect grade. Okay. And then top of the box actually has uh, some artwork here. We got the top where the handle is, has the unicorn in unicorn mode, and when you open the box up, I know it's got a little tear right here, but whatever, it reveals unicorn in unicorn mode, and bah, destroy mode, sorry. So. I think I'm actually going to cut the video here and go ahead and open this up because this is going to be really awkward trying to do this on camera. Okay, so I just slid the inner box out of the outer box and now we can show off the parts. Okay, this is the WA runner. Uh, Multicolored parts. We got clear green parts for the eyes and the forehead camera. Got two clear pink psycho frame parts for the shield. Uh, the inner frame color they've used for this kit is actually pretty unique. It's not gray like a normal uh, Gundam kit. It's kind of a brownish gray and a bit darker than what you usually see on uh, normal kits. A lot of times perfect grades will just go for a straight almost black inner frame but this time it's definitely got a brownish tinge to it. Got a few clear parts here. These are look to be scopes for the uh, beam rifle, bazooka, and the uh, Gatling guns. And here we get our caution markings. These are all clear stickers, so no dry transfers or water slides with this kit. But that's how it is with, uh, I think, pretty much every perfect grade. This is standard release. It's just clear stickers. And we've got the shield here. Large parts looking very similar to the way the Master Grade shield is constructed. Uh, I think that goes on the back of the shield. Alright. Large bag of inner frame parts in that same brownish gray color. Got the waist section here. Uh, skirt armor. Looks like that's probably the hip joint right there. We got some foil stickers here. And from my understanding of other reviews of this kit, uh, these are going to go up under some of the psycho frame parts uh, to kind of make them uh, more reflective parts that don't necessarily have LEDs up under them. And that will just help that light shine through a bit more. And this is part of the uh, display stand. This is obviously the arm that uh, the unicorn is going to be mounted to, which looks sort of like the unicorn Gundam's uh, V-fin. Alright, white parts. We got four beam sabers right here, all one pe Actually, no, they are separate parts. They have little end caps that are somewhere around here. 
Anyway, this runner is mostly head parts, looks like. Uh, there's the hand backing, some front skirt parts, but I think everything else is all going on the head. And we got the little Benazir Lynx pilot figures there, looking very nicely detailed in 160th scale. Face plate with the uh, face vents uh, cut all the way through. Behind that looks to be a runner of very dark colored, almost black poly caps. And uh, here we got some white armor, looks like mostly leg parts. There's some waist section parts there, but all the rest of these look like they go on the legs. More inner frame bits. Uh, I think these are mostly leg parts, but I can't really be certain because uh, the inner frame is a bit more complex than it was on the Master Grade. So some of these parts look familiar. Like I can tell that's the ankle joint, and like that's the part for the heel. I think that might be the bottom of the foot. But a lot of the stuff is uh, divided into more parts than the Master Grade. Here we go. This is the beam magnum. So they pretty much got the whole beam magnum on one runner here. Uh, main body there. There's the barrel. There's the end of the barrel. There's the uh, handles for the ammo clips. And we got our dark blue runner with all our foot and backpack parts on it. small gray runner. This is actually a, a lighter shade of gray than what we've seen up until now. This is for the uh, mid-torso, the collar area, the neck joint, and the seat that goes inside the cockpit hatch, which is actually really nicely detailed. And then a few more uh, dark blue parts for the other foot. More inner frame bits. This is obviously the legs. You can see the lower leg shape there. Lots of uh, internal sliding parts that are going to be moving around for the transformation. And a duplicate runner on this side. Smaller bag of inner frame bits in that same brownish color. And a, another runner of those dark gray poly caps. And here we get the perfect grade hands. And label says MP0 and if I'm not mistaken these are the same hands that were used for perfect grade uh, strike gun and ashtray the copyright date on the back there says Bandai 2004 which would be uh, appropriate for a uh, strike gun and ashtray and I'm pretty sure this is the same hands used on those two kits right, got some white parts here outer armor uh, that's obviously the large piece that goes on the back of the leg, ankle, foot parts, uh, side skirts, more ankle armor. Got some small little white parts that are going to go inside the thrusters. We actually get uh, the inside of the thrusters are white on this kit. I think when you have the LED unit uh, and the thrusters light up, the white parts sort of uh, are brighter and illuminate better. Alright, we got the uh, ammo packs, and these are all molded in that kind of weird blue, green, gray color, same as the Master Grade, which I kind of like. It just uh, changes up the color scheme a bit rather than just normal old gray. And uh, unlike the Master Grade, each ammo pack is molded in two parts instead of just one. And here we get something that uh, is a little bit unique. These are POM parts, P O M. You can see on the label right there. Uh, they're basically shaped exactly like the polycaps, only they're made of a much firmer, much uh, tougher plastic. So I'm thinking these will be a bit more durable for the uh, the large scale of this perfect grade. So we'll see how those work out. And then all this down here, I think, is a display base, except for V-Fin here, which is, as you can see, pre-painted. It's uh, all on its own small little white runner and then the inside edge is painted gold and if you'll notice right here on each V fin there's a little bit that seems a little more metallic than the rest of the gold paint and apparently that is a tiny magnet 
that is going to keep the V-Fin closed in unicorn mode. Uh, unlike the Master Grade where you close the V-Fin and it just sort of still had a gap between it, apparently these tiny magnets are going to help alleviate that problem. And this is just a large hollow rectangle that's going to go on the display base. I believe this is meant to be the cover for the LED unit's battery box. And speaking of display base, here it is, very, very large. This is about, I'd say 11 or 12 inches wide, probably about 10 inches tall. And it's got uh, slots here that you can put the weapons when they're not being held by the unicorn gun. Nothing on the bottom, whole thing's just wrapped up in its own poly bag. All right, so we're halfway done. Next up, large runner of white parts for uh, mainly the torso and skirt armor. See some back skirt parts here, uh, a few front skirt parts, torso parts, collar area. Flip this over and we get our first runner of psycho frame parts in the same fluorescent clear pink that was, uh, has been with basically every Unicorn Gundam kit at this point. So. Also, we have a small sticker sheet right here, foil stickers, for uh, the eyes and the cameras on the weapons and things like that. Since we have clear parts provided for those, shouldn't really have to use them. I'm going to try to put this stuff over here. Alright, here is the runner for the bazooka. We got very large bazooka parts here. Barrel molded in one a solid cylinder tube, or actually three tubes are going to be putting together, so won't be any seam lines on that. And then we got our two beam saber effect parts. More psycho frame stuff here. Uh, looks like basically parts for the uh, shoulders and the arms and the skirt armor. Another larger runner of psycho frame parts. These look to be mostly for the legs. I can see the ankle parts there, knee parts, parts for the outer leg. And I think this is our last runner of psycho frame parts. This is going to be got the thighs and the upper legs, backpack parts, parts for the head, torso, and some more inner frame bits. This looks like uh, torso and waist section parts for the inner frame. White armor, looks like uh, lower legs, ankle area, knees, things like that. More inner frame, leg parts, and got the hip joint there, knee joint right here. Got some thrusters, also looks like some skirt armor parts and just some generic uh, joints and hinges and things, and a duplicate runner of that. We got two runners. These are going to be our Gatling guns. That we're getting two Gatling guns with this kit. So I uh, got one Gatling gun on each runner. So that would be nice. Another runner of inner frame bits. This looks like arm parts. I can see the uh, elbow joint there. There's the uh, forearm parts, wrist parts. And two runners of that. And then the very last bag is more outer armor, shoulder parts, arm parts, mostly. Uh, yeah, I think this is all just shoulders and arms. And there's the end caps for the beam sabers right there. Okay, so last little bit is the manual. Very thick manual. Uh, let's see, how many pages is this? 59, 60, 61, 62, 63 pages. Opens up with a very nice shot of the Unicorn Gundam. Got some info here, all in Japanese. This kit was released before they started doing the manuals, half Japanese, half English. And we got our parts rundown. Surprisingly short. Of course, a lot of these have uh, times two labeled next to them, so a lot of these are duplicate runners. All the stuff you're going to get with the kit how to cut out the parts, and then they start us off with the display base. So, uh, all these parts in red, you can see highlighted, uh, are going to involve the LED unit. 
and all the parts that aren't highlighted in red you don't have to worry about LEDs this is all just assembled uh, as is normally as you can see here once we get some of the torso assembled they start with the red highlighted parts and show us how to install the LED units likewise move on from the torso to the feet then to the legs it looks like they're having us uh, assemble do sub assemblies like build about half of each part of the body and then install the LED units into it and then assemble like all the outer armor and stuff on top of it and it looks to be uh, what they're doing as far as construction goes so moving on to the waist section here skirt armor hooking up all the uh, LEDs to the torso more skirt armor parts then move on to the arms hands and then connecting the LEDs and the arms to the torso and lastly the head and since the head's pretty small, most of the head involves LEDs. Oh, I forgot about the backpack. The backpack's got LEDs in it as well. Looks like the LEDs for the backpack aren't terribly complicated. Anyway, the weapons don't have any LEDs on them, so the assembly for the B-Magnum and the bazooka and the shield are relatively straightforward. And assembling the Gatling guns and lastly move on to the transformation standard unicorn Gundam transformation and then they show us how to do the unchained mode as well and apparently uh, this part in the very back of the manual looks to be uh, like if you bought the unicorn Gundam and assembled it and then at a later point bought the LED unit and wanted to install it it looks as though they have instructions to disassemble the Unicorn Gundam to install the LED unit uh, after the fact so that's definitely helpful so you don't end up breaking your kit uh, if you want to disassemble and add the LEDs later and in the back we get uh, more photos more information Unicorn Gundam and its story and Benajer links and all that stuff and in the very back, we get a color guide, including the little Benazir Lynx figure and our caution sticker guide. So, that was a long unboxing video, but it's a perfect grade, so of course it's going to be long. So, this is a really cool looking kit. Very excited to snap this together and see how it compares to the Master Grade in terms of construction and stability. Uh, I'm one of the few people on Earth who actually likes the Master Grade Unicorn, so uh, I'm not one of those people that was like foaming at the mouth for some sort of improvement. But from all accounts I've heard so far, this is uh, vastly improved on the Master Grade. All of the problems that the Master Grade has have apparently been fixed with this release, so I'll find out all about that once I get this guy snapped together. So with that, I'll see you guys next time.